Hello everyone and welcome to May 2023 product update of Recruiter Flow. Well, this is going to be a long one, so let's get right into it. First things first, um, a big new update into the Chrome extension um, and our email finding abilities. Uh, if you, we, we have severely expanded our data partnerships uh, so we can serve you more accurate and many, many more emails for profiles. I have Nrish's profile open over here. I'm just going to click on get email to get his email address. So we have two email addresses that we could find, his Gmail and his Yahoo. Um, just going to add uh, Nrish to my recruiter flow account. There we go. And as always, I can add somebody as a candidate. So Nrish has been added as a candidate. Another big change is now you have an activity log right in the Chrome extension. If we go to Nourish's profile in Recruiter Flow, there we have it. Uh, we have added a new type of custom field called rich text. Now, this basically means that I can write bullet points. I can write, you know, just going to write uh, demo notes over here. And uh, I can basically have rich text in custom fields. If you want to use this as a submittal note, and put it in a template, you can do that as well. So that's the, those are the uh, two big changes over here. Uh, heading on over to settings, uh, another big change that we have released is our client portal, which is still in beta. Um, essentially now in the client portal, you can personalize uh, the logo that the client sees. So you can show uh, the client's company logo in the client portal. You can also uh, select which fields do you want to hide in the client portal. So over here, we have hidden last name, email address, website, and phone number. Um, you can also, uh, there is also, we've added an ability to, for the clients to give thumbs up or thumbs down on the candidate. And you, you can also configure if they give a thumbs up, move them to a particular stage. If they give a thumbs down, move them to another stage um, or disqualify them with a particular reason, right? So you can uh, do that as well. So let's see what that looks like uh, on the client portal. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to add Naresh to a job over here and uh, just submit him to the client. There we go. So we have added uh, uh him to the, submitted him to the client now let's take a look at the client portal let me quickly refresh this page there we go so i have naresh and uh, his last name is hidden uh you i can you know there is uh you know uh, thumbs up thumbs down um and i can if i click thumbs up over here uh the the candidate um is automatically moved to the interview stage, so you can configure this as well. Uh, there are a bunch of more, bunch more very important updates uh, that we are going to put in the blog. So do make sure that you check out the blog link. Uh, and as always, if you have any questions, please get in touch with us. 